There's a whole lot of stuff that can hurt you in a swamp. Disease, drowning, dehydration, snakes, and sinkholes. And that's just to name a few. But that doesn't stop Troy Landry and the rest of the cast of Swamp People from living, working, and even having a ball out in that murky land that God forgot. But mistakes happen to everyone, even consummate professionals like Troy. Even the most sure-footed swamp soldiers have fallen victim to the region's many dangers. And when you're way out on the bayou, a simple error can turn deadly in the blink of an eye. So when rumors swirled that something horrible had happened to Troy Landry, well, fans were justifiably worried. So what happened to Troy Landry? Today we're going to the bottom of the swamp to find out. It involves deadly curses, complex family legacies, and several people seemingly coming back from the dead. The swamp is a murky place, but we'll do our best to dig up some truth in all this mistaken identity, catastrophes, and of course, hundreds of deadly critters. Before we set out, make sure to hit that thumbs up icon to show us support. And subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Are you ready? Well, strap on your boots, because we're gonna get dirty as we find out. What, what happened? happened? Death on the Bayou. Through hundreds of episodes, Troy has made light work of whatever ferocious forces come his way, including crazy storms, capsized boats, and of course, dozens and dozens and dozens of America's most terrifying beasts, alligators. And as he tackles all of these deadly challenges, he does so with style and swagger, having coined dozens of unique catchphrases in the process. You know, like, he's a big boy, and of course, shoot him. But despite the many dangers of the swamp, we often view people on our favorite shows as invincible. If they're on TV, nothing bad can really happen to them, right? Well, sadly, this couldn't be further from the truth. While Troy was in many ways the star of Swamp People, he was hardly the only one with expertise, passion, and charisma. Mitchell Geist and his brother Glenn appeared on seasons two and three of the show, and they were exemplary models of the eccentric ingenuity and charm that you can only find in Louisiana. The brothers had lived together on the bayou for decades, and they were often featured hunting diverse animals for their dinner anything from rabbits to gators. The lovable old coots had lived in the swamp for so long that they seemed a little like gators themselves, keeping their heads down for centuries, watching the world go by. But this idyllic life couldn't last forever, and death was coming for the cast of Swamp People. It was May 12th, 2012, and it began like any other day. Mitchell was out on the river, loading items onto the boat with a buddy. That's what life is like on the swamp. Even if you're not hard at work hunting gators, you're working on something. And then it happened. It wasn't immediately clear, but it was reported he suffered a seizure, although later it was changed to a heart attack. Either way, Mitchell fell off the boat, and when his buddy pulled him out, he was already dead. It was determined he had died of natural causes, but still, Mitchell's brother was devastated, as was the rest of the cast. But there was a certain beauty in his death. He had died in a place he loved, remote Pierre Part, Louisiana, doing what he loved. The show, of course, dedicated an episode to Mitchell's memory, and it wasn't clear whether his brother would remain on the show. But this wouldn't be the first time that tragedy would strike swamp people, as things were going to get closer to home for Troy Landry. A sudden disappearance. Troy's sons, Jacob and Chase, starred alongside Dad on Swamp People. While Troy represents the illustrious past of the swamp, Jacob and Chase represent the region's future. And along with working on this show, Jacob is also an accomplished musician and helps keep the music of the bayou alive, bringing it into the next generation. But as we've discovered, the swamp is a dangerous place, no matter how sharp you are. So when Troy got a phone call in 2016 saying that something awful had happened to one of his sons, yeah, you can't imagine how terrified he was. But the phone call did not involve Jacob or Chase. It was actually about his stepson, Brandon, who was not featured on Swamp People, but still played a large role in Troy's life. The news, however, was horrifying. 
Brandon had been driving home from a party when he lost control of his car and swerved into a ditch. The boy was forcibly ejected from the car and suffered a broken neck and collapsed lung. Not exactly the kind of thing you just brush off. It wasn't clear whether Brandon was going to survive, and it seemed that Troy's greatest fear, something happening to one of his loved ones, had come in the least expected way. Understandably, fans were in the dark about what had happened. When Troy withdrew from the public eye for a while, they did begin to worry. And after some digging, it appeared that the worst had happened. Fans found an obituary for Brandon Landry in the newspaper, seemingly undeniable proof. And now it was unclear what was going to happen with Troy and Jacob and Chase. Would they stay on the show or would the show continue without them? But remember when we said things in the swamp are murky? Well, some people were now reporting Brandon Landry was actually alive. So it turns out there were two Brandon Landrys, and the obituary was for a totally different person, when in actuality, Troy's stepson Brandon was airlifted from the wreck, his body nearly destroyed, but he was alive. Of course, Troy took some time away to take care of Brandon, and after years of intense medical treatment and physical therapy, he pulled through. But while everything worked out for Troy and his loved ones at this time, they weren't exactly out of the woods just yet. Big news was coming, and the shadow of death would once more cover Troy Landry. Troy Landry reported dead. In 2022, several news outlets revealed something shocking, that Troy Landry had passed away. Fans all over the country were horrified to hear that this seemingly invincible man had been taken from us. The headlines were unambiguous. The truth, as always, was complicated. Troy Landry had passed away at the relatively young age of 62. But the cause of his death wasn't what you'd expect. It wasn't a vicious alligator attack, a drowning, or any of the myriad of dangers that you'd expect. Nope, the cause of death was much more mundane prostate cancer. But then the story got a bit stranger. Troy's son Jacob took to Facebook to make a shocking revelation that the headlines were false. The reports of his demise had been greatly exaggerated. So is Troy some kind of swamp zombie? Not exactly. There was a nugget of truth in that story. Troy had been diagnosed with prostate cancer, and he did have a dangerous surgery to remove said prostate. But he was alive. Now all fans had to worry about was whether Troy would return to Swamp People. The following months were tough for Troy and his family. His recovery was anything but easy, and it took him months to get back up to speed. But if you're a fan of Troy Landry like I am, then you would guess he was back up and running in time for the next season of Swamp People. Just in time to defend his title as King of the Swamp. And besides starring on the show, Troy is back spending time with his kids and grandkids. The swamp is not a safe or easy place to live, and to be honest, I don't plan on moving there anytime soon. But I will continue to watch the exploits of the Landry clan, cause god they have guts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They fight huge gators without any fear, and it seems primal. The folks on Swamp People can teach us a valuable lesson, not just about how to catch a gator, but about what it means to be alive. When you live in a dangerous place like the bayou, you have to make sacrifices. You have to accept sometimes eating rabbits instead of gourmet cooking. And yeah, I'm sure rabbit is great. And of course, you have to be okay with getting your hands dirty. But most importantly, you have to rely on the other people around you, your family. The stories of Mitchell and Glenn demonstrates this. In a world where death lurks in every shadow and under every lily pad, you have to learn to appreciate each moment and every second with your loved ones. All right, I'll see you later, alligator. But before we go, we want to know what you think. Who is your favorite cast member on Swamp People? Is it Troy and his son, or is it Pickle Wheat? Do you remember a great episode of Swamp People? Mention it in the comments. And tell me if Troy agreed to take you out on the boat on the bayou, maybe shoot a gator or two, would you have the confidence and the guts to do it? Get in the comments and tell me all your thoughts on Swamp People. If you enjoyed our video, give it a thumbs up, it really helps. Subscribe to our channel and come back often so we can keep telling you what, what?